food bank is not public funds okay they're not owned by the government hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're just meeting me for the first time my name is favor and i'm very happy to have you here but i do wish that you stay you enjoy the video you like share comment and subscribe so it's going to be my first sit down video ever i kind of feel nervous about it but I'm sure we'll get through it okay so this is a very interesting topic that i want to talk about i do wish that you stay you enjoy the video and probably just share it to someone that it will be useful to okay if not you if you're conversant with my channel you will know that i uploaded a video of how i got um free food stuff in the uk from the food bank of which i'm very 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 and still very very grateful for i'm sure most of you found me through that video because there were lots of likes comments and you know people shared the video a lot and i, yeah, I really want to say thank Thank you to every one of you that followed me just by watching that video okay <laughs> so i also got a lot of questions from that video some of you messaged me on instagram some of you messaged me on um like you, some of you commented on the videos and some of you sent me emails as well i realized that um food bank is a very very sensitive topic or going to food bank is kind of sensitive because not everyone is proud to visit a food bank some people they just get used to it but most people go to food bank just because of circumstances i'll be starting by asking and answering some of the questions you guys asked me okay but first i want to talk about a food bank now what is a food bank a food bank is a non-profit charitable organization that provides food parcels to individuals that are currently experiencing financial crisis okay so if you listen well emphasis on charitable organization okay so now if you've um probably maybe lost your job or you're probably experiencing food crisis it means you're unable to provide food for yourself and probably for your family or if you're probably experiencing a job loss a temporary job loss or any kind of hardship the food bank is you know it's always there to help individuals like you and i okay that's if that's the case so how can you assess a food bank so you can assess a food bank by having a referral code there are some list of organizations that can give you this code so i'm going to list these organizations for you so you can just have an idea all right so there are about seven or eight of them i'm going to try and list them in order all right so the first one is your gp so you can get a referral from your gp if you are a registered patient at that surgery okay so you can just contact your gp and tell them that you're currently facing financial crisis and you need to assess a food bank if it's possible and they will gladly give it to you so they will give you a code which is usually electronic like i said and you will take that code to the food bank that's nearest to you and they would give you food that will last you for a week or more so it's usually one code per week so if you go there every week depending on how long your crisis lasts for so if you go there for for example you go for a month you usually need your gp um, to give you a code for that month so it's going to be four code per month because one code will last for a week so it may depends on the food bank though some might do it differently some might give you food that will last you for a whole month but some might just choose to do it weekly so if you're a new immigrant you're an asylum seeker you know you're just facing hardship and you're not registered with a gp yet or you're not used to any of these organizations you can actually assess a food bank as well it does not stop you if you attend a church you're probably a christian or you're not even a christian you can go to a church because they usually have uh, food banks that are organized by churches as well so you can just go and tell them you're not registered and they would give you food that would last you but they would advise that you're registered with a gp or any other organizations which i'm going to list so the next organization that can refer you to a food bank is a church so a church can refer you to a food bank whether you're a christian or not and then you can also be referred to a food bank by schools if you have children and they attend school and you find yourself again in financial crisis food crisis you can actually contact the school and they would give you a voucher as well to go to a food bank now the next organization that can refer you to a food bank is council okay so the council in your locality wherever you stay they can actually give you a referral code to take to a food bank now before you're giving that code you'll be asked some questions like uh, what's happening in your life do you have a job um, why can't you buy food this that they're not interrogating you these are just normal um, questions that they ask people okay they want to know if you can afford food 
or you cannot afford food it's not saying that they will not give you food they will give you the referral code at the end of the day but they're just gonna ask you okay now the next organization that can give you a referral to take to a food bank is a job center okay so if you have a job center in your locality it can give you a food bank referral okay you just tell them they know that you've been uh, applying for jobs and you've not been able to get one so they know that your situation is just temporary so they will be able to give you a referral code to take to a food bank to get food parcels all right the next person i'm not going to say organization or should i say organization is um social services okay so these people can refer you to or if you have a social worker so a social worker will be able to refer you to a food bank all right so they know your situation they're working with you these social workers they are usually assigned to individuals okay so your social worker would know you better they will know you're experiencing crisis and all that so they'll be able to give you a referral code to take to a food bank okay so now the last one on my list is citizens advice so if you if you do not have indefinite leave to remain in the country in the uk i would not advise you to contact citizens advice and ask for a referral to a food bank though they are there for everyone i would say they have all the answers to the questions to whatever questions you have in this country okay they are just there they are the ones that can refer you to council to give you council houses and if you're passing through financial difficulty they are the ones okay they can actually tell council to reduce your your bill you know and all that to, re to reduce your house rent and all that okay but that's another topic for another day okay so citizens advice they have the right to you know they can give you a referral code to take to a food bank all right so if you do not have indefinite leave to remain i don't really advise you to go through citizens advice there's no point i personally just feel like you should have your stay in the uk before going to citizens advice for anything to be honest that's just my personal opinion okay so where are food banks located okay so many of you asked me this question oh favor um there's no food bank in my area or how can i know if there is food bank in my area how can i search for a food bank you simply just go to google and type food bank near me okay now in my community um, the food bank here, they serve not just my community, they serve uh, my community and two other communities, okay? So not just mine. So even if there's no food bank in your area, you can actually assess the food bank that's in another community not so far away from you. So when you contact either your GP or whichever organization I've just listed that you want to contact, so when you contact them, they can refer you they will be the one to tell you oh there's no food bank here you can go to the one in the other community and trust me before you get there they must have sent your details to them and they'll know you are coming and they'll be happy to help you okay now another very common question i got was um, people asking favor is food bank public funds some of you were not even asking some of you were just stating food bank is public funds you should not use food bank okay now i'm here to say that food bank is not public funds okay food bank is not actually sponsored by the government they are sponsored by people like you and me okay they are sponsored by charities supermarkets wealthy individuals wealthy organizations okay so they are not sponsored by the government they're not owned by the government okay please just try and do your research all right so food banks are not they are not public funds i'm going to put a screenshot on the screen right now so you can also see it on the government website and see that food banks are not classified as public funds i have made tons and tons and tons of research about this food banks are not public funds so when you come into the country um if you're a student or uh, a worker like a skilled worker a visitor and you know whatever visa you come with that is not you know it's not indefinite leave to remain i mean you're not married to um a british citizen okay at the back of your brp you would see that there is n r p f it means no recourse to public funds so it's either it's written n r p f or they're just gonna write no public funds so it means that you do not have access to public funds now in the video that i made where i told you guys about how i got food from the food bank i told you guys how we we kept on telling them we don't have recourse to public funds because we didn't even know to be honest at that time so we kept on saying we do not have recourse to public funds they were like they know so when i made my research i saw a lot of articles about um immigrants not having access to public funds and how it was not fair by the government for them not to have um, recourse to public funds visit and uh, not visitors per se like i mean 
skilled workers are coming to the country and you're restricting them from from one help or another how they are suffering how they are paying high rent how they are finding finding it difficult to to feed and how these food banks organizations like russell um, food bank or russell food bank i'm not so sure which is a very popular organization okay so and how they were even saying that oh um, food bank is suffering because the government is not it's not making um these skilled workers that come into the country to have access to public funds that it is not fair i think this N uh, nropf was introduced in 2012 okay and people fought against it like people kept fighting against it and saying it is not fair on immigrants for them not to have public funds uh, for them not to have access to uh, to public funds that they mostly depend on food banks and it is not nice because nobody likes to rely on food banks you know because most of this um food from food banks they are mostly canned food they don't really have like fresh food okay like a food pantry would have okay there's also another one called food pantry where they have they give you fresh food um vegetables you know and all that okay on like a food bank that would mostly give you canned food you know not all are canned anyway they will give you toothpaste they give you cream just your essentials okay not just food they also give you things apart from food okay so there are tons and tons of research on it and how food bank was suffering that even during covid that people suffered a lot especially the people that had no recourse to public funds because their visa was carrying that um uh, nrpf and that people with public funds got help from the government and people without public funds had to mostly rely on um food banks and all that okay so you guys i don't want to make this video too long i really just hope that you learn a thing or two from it okay and i hope that this video clears your doubts and i'll be leaving some links on the description box just so that you can also read for yourself and know that a um, food bank is not public funds but one last thing i'm going to say is please do not go to a food bank if you do not need it to be honest too there's no need to go there if you don't need it. if you can afford groceries there's no need even if you have to rely on food bank for a while I mean after you've gotten back on your feet i don't see any reason for you to keep going back there do not abuse it okay just go if you only need to go okay and also before you go make sure if you're still having doubt in your mind just make sure to call and just tell them you do not have access to, uh, to public funds and you see the answer they'll give to you they'll tell you it's fine but don't abuse it okay that's just all i have to say i really hope that you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to like share and comment on my videos and i'll be very very grateful okay so thank you guys so much for watching and bye until next time